just went in and checked my note that I wrote down and I actually, this needs to be cut off at 41. And then we're gonna put an inch and a half piece on so that'll get you above 42. And that's a good height for a railing. So I'm gonna have to readjust my lines here. This 37 was how big I want my panels to be when I cut my, when I cut off my uh, goat panels, that's what they call them. Um, they have four by four grid. smaller skill saw so I've still got a little bit in there I gotta cut so I have to go get a sawzall and see if I can cut through got my post cut here and there I've got all my railing 
pieces cut. D is basically, I just is used to squeeze the hog panel together at the top and bottom. And then we'll turn these on their side. There'll be two right here. Then your hog panel and the piece on top. And then there'll be two on the bottom squeezing that hog panel or else it's just too flimsy and somebody could fall through. So we'll turn it outside, put some screws in it to hold the hog panel in place. And then um, we'll put the whole piece of the whole section up on it here. It's gonna be heavy. So I've got my panel made sitting on this deck. I'm gonna try to tip it up and then I gotta lift it up so that I'm level with here. Put a couple screws in it. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this alone. So we'll see how it goes. looks like we're twisted of course let me show you what the issue is see that right there we've got about a half inch too much on this end so I either need to pull all them screws out and shift it over or trim a little off look down here at this yeah it looks like this whole thing is shifted this way i was just eyeballing it so and that's what happens when you don't measure corner to corner to see if you're square i came up with another idea i got a crowbar and a hammer i'm gonna see if i can tap those this way it's like about a half inch. And uh, I got close, but I think I'm just going to trim it.
that way. It'll be nice for stuff to be able to blow underneath this railing. That's why I want to lift this up and it looks like I'm just going to have just enough room to stick a 2x4 underneath there. try to get if you look well you probably can't see but if you look from this direction this panel is kind of bowed it's bowing like this away from the deck so I'm gonna try to use a crowbar and kind of twist it twist it back in on the bottom and then try to also center it at the same time There's the finished product. So over here, where all this junk is down there is gonna be the stairs going out kind of towards the driveway. And I gotta put this other eight foot piece in, but I'll probably do that a different day, so.